go. I couldn't do this last night. I was far too tired. As I got to the end, I wonder if it's going to open. Oh, it is going to open! As if by magic, it's going to open. And in we go. In we go. Let's see up there. And then we're just waiting for Laurie Ann to come. But look at the fabric. I'm going to do a quick walk to the fabric. There's, look at this. Fabric. Uh, accessories here. We've got all these beautiful patterns. All these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful patterns. We've got lots of trim. Oh, I've just seen a pattern I might like. We've got some little rosy cheeks. The printer. We all love the printers. Cuffings. More patterns. Oh, what's this? Scissors in little pouches. The fabric emporium this way. The lighting wasn't too good that way. I've got my Lisa Taylor fabrics here. And my Italia shoot fabrics just here. Where do you start? I think I might start by going and finding a cup of coffee somewhere. So here we are. <laughs> Set up for Andrea's inaugural sewing retreat. The first one. There she is in the middle, dishing out the name tapes. Uh, thanks, Jan. Dishing out the name tapes, and we've got people slowly appearing. I think I have, yeah. It's lovely, it's people in here, two people yet to come. It's full, full, full. So we're going to uh, So Tune in Ireland. And in here we have our one stop caterer. Everybody's coming. Oh, look, this is what you call perfect timing. This might be a French seams. It is a French seams. This was not fixed, Rachel. This was not fixed. This was not fixed. <laughs> Hi, Hi, camera. How are you? Lovely, lovely to meet you. This is so lovely to meet you. Love the dress. Thank you. Is that a mixed dress? It is an Aren't you beautiful? Aren't Thank you, you gorgeous? Everybody looks so lovely. Thank you. So where are you staying? Uh, staying in a little B&B &B in, um, uh, no, uh, an Airbnb in Port Umna, so about a ten minute drive. That's not too yeah. far, is it? Absolutely fine. No, I just Absolutely. came out to try and get a picture of this. <laughs> Go I mean, look! I block your lovely view? No, no, but look, it's got, it's got flower pot on the top. <laughs> It's absolutely I'm wonderful. I'm sure Fault to Ireland who pay you now to do all this footage for them. I think she's chosen it because it's got a pink door. I, thought I managed to influence Grania to buy one of Adam's caddies and she's going through mine because she loves tulip pink. I have to see how I can set mine up after looking in yours. Well, I've discovered actually, oh, Grania, that my foot pedal will fit in there. Oh, so I can keep everything going. Adam it's did such a good job. Oh, he's just amazing. But the thing is, um, Lorian and I were at Castle Howard. I, I'd asked him when I was at So Tune the previous day, and then he said to me, you got the message at Castle Howard, and he said, I think I've had a little bit of a blip this afternoon, and he'd made it in the afternoon. It's just unbelievable. I feel... I feel so honoured that he's made that for me. Yeah, and I feel I feel very special. I can't wait to get mine. Oh, I, can't so I can't wait to see yours. I can't wait to see it. So just in case anybody is wondering, because my sewing machine went in the hold, um, it is really old, this sewing machine, and it's a solidly built, listen, metal, um, mechanical sewing machine, and it's absolutely flown through. <laughs> flown through, there you go. It's absolutely perfect. When it travelled, I put the foot down and I put the needle down so that nothing there could get knocked out of position and I wedged in around there to make certain that the machine was protected. I think these budget airlines are lovely but you can't take lovely things like this in your hand luggage. We've got to the retreat and this is a little hint for everybody that's going to a certain retreat. Don't forget that you need to bring absolutely everything that you need and we don't have a loop turner. So I've come up with an ingenious idea. I've made some cord using a chain on the overlocker next to us. This is an overlocker here. Uh, and I'm going to put this at the end and hopefully it will pull it through. And then I can use that end to tie in or I can snip it off and then feed it back in when I get home. So let's have a go. I'll come back to you in a minute. I'll leave this as well. Turn it round the other way. Special, isn't it? 
I know I've got loads at home. I'll leave, I've really got that one, it's the only pencil I've got with me, so I'll leave it with you so I can take it home. Look at that. Done, right, do the other one and then. Well, what I always did over the years, uh, I didn't always have an overlocker. I have a, I have a big needle and I would thread it all oh, with I would thread double in so four threads come out. I do a couple of last yeah. days, thread it through and then pull it through. Yeah. I only had a rule on with Turner since last year. Yeah, I know. There you go. <laughs> I used to do everything without them, yeah. So let's do the other the one. The other thing that you can do, I learned yeah. this when I was doing a millinery class one day. Yeah. Um, I do some of the cords, they're thicker for middle yeah. and you're using thicker you fabric. Is um, something like that, but she was using a um, washing line. Oh, washing yes! Line. That would you be good. In, you put your stitch, you put your needle over to the left, you go yeah. very close to the washing line, and then you roll it back over the washing line and you put it off. So you have to put like oh, a thicker. That's a good one. Yeah, I'll try that yeah. one, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm doing this slightly differently. Good afternoon, Mary. <laughs> no, no, I have discovered since I landed, there's time and there's Irish time. I got Irish time very quickly. Are you not Irish, no? You're in on the Irish time now, are you? I got the Irish time at Dublin Airport. So we're approaching lunch and we have an overlocker issue in that the lovely little overlocker that we're sharing between us we can't get it to thread I've tried, now it's Lorianne's turn so in the meantime I've gone back to how I used to overlock the old fashioned way when I first had this machine and I'm going to see if it will work it's got what looks like an overlocking stitch so let's see if this little Benina, this little Benina, this little Elna wants to play and guess what? she is playing I've only got one to do because uh, this is because I don't want to stop. I don't know if it's the most perfect stitch. Hmm. I don't like it, so I'm going to go back to a simple zigzag. But since we last talked to you, we've now got two lovely ladies sitting opposite, and one of them is making a Charlie jumper. And Kitty, what are you making, Kitty? She's making a half a cardigan. Is it working, Lorianne? No, it's not working. We're not going to work either. It sounds yeah, good. But it's really, really, really filling up here. We've got. So let me just show you again the lovely, lovely bits around the room. I get it to focus into the down the room. It won't. Well, there we go. Um, you see down there, it's really, really busy. And people down here. Oh, to remember, not everybody wants to be on a vlog, so you've got to be really careful. Let me just try and see if I can do a buttonhole using this. This, because I used to have a buttonhole foot, and, and I loaned my machine to my friend Sue, and she, flipping well, lost the buttonhole foot. Now I do that bit, then I go to here. I remember, I have to sit widen that, yeah. Oh no. I can't remember how to do the bars. No, it just wants to go down again. Oh, do you know what I've done? I've done something else that's wrong. I haven't even got it on the right stitch. I've got it on a different stitch, so no wonder it's not working. <laughs> I think it's time for me to stop this as well. I'm going to leave this it must in for lunch time. It must be lunch time. Andrea must be back. Let's have another go. Can we hear her in the background? Do you know this is now determination? We will get that overlocker working, and I will do a buttonhole. Yeah. I love it. My kilo dress. You are just sewing for England. No, sewing for Ireland. Oh, cut that, 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 cut freedom. Right, Rachel's husband is very worried about her going beyond the pink door. Even, I think we can remember, you go to the left, to the left, and back to the left. It's a good song. We're walking. Let's get there before Yes. Just in case they buy all the fabric. 
just in case they buy all the fabric. Girls are like, who are these? <laughs> so I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm carrying on the theme of women going shopping. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, actually, we need to find an, an Irish supermarket, don't we? Yeah. Close. Yeah. Store is value I've, I've had a request, Lorianne, that next year in, in the summer that we do the video. Have you got a video of me going in an American supermarket? Oh, there you go. <laughs> that works. See what Joanne's again. Joanne's, you need to take the turning to the right. Do you use Watch Bosco when you're looking? Yes. Right here, yeah. right here, Rachel. No, <laughs> where the van is. Yeah, that right, this, is, this is the oh. right, oh. and your destination is on the left. Yeah, you can, you can, if you know where it is, you can see it from here. So, but, there it is, that so house just down the right, right, so right, yeah, right. right and then your destination is ahead of you. There you go. <gasps> oh my god. I know, the anticipation. Behind the curtain. First, <laughs> country road. country road. These are even oh, country road. we don't have the key to get in the, the gate. Uh, Andrew's I think she's ahead just of us. ahead of us. Okay. Yeah. So this yeah, is there where there's the magic the happens. There's your pink door. Yeah. This is where the magic happens. Yeah. yeah. You may never get Rachel out. Oh my god, like this is better than going There's to There's the fancy land. lawnmower. Oh yeah, that was brilliant, that was wasn't it? Her video yeah. on the lawnmower. Yeah. Is it a the house is gorgeous. Yeah, it is. <gasps> oh, there we go. <laughs> Genuinely having You can a go and park next to my hire car. <laughs> is that? Oh, that's nice. That's oh, my hire car. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, it is a. Yeah, I'm a fan of the old Nissan, I must say. No, ladies, that didn't take too long. Can <laughs> <laughs> we just stop that? Right. Okay, right. okay, off you go, Rachel. Time to get yeah, me on right. the pink door. <laughs> Anybody else wants to be on my vlog going beyond the pink door? We can all go beyond you the pink door. You can all go beyond the pink door. Uh, look at them all. Give us a wave. <laughs> Woo! Really suddenly become the star of my Instagram story. <laughs> <laughs> what have you bought, Rachel, or what haven't you bought? A little bit of Marifax thread. I've got variations on. I've got Angora. I'm just going to go like that because then it'll be all revealed on your. I love it. In suspense. I love it. In suspense. I love it. In suspense. In suspense. I think we're going to go back, aren't we? I'm just going to go and see what's going in there because I quite fancy a walk back. <laughs> I don't fancy a drive back. I fancy. I'm just going to have a little look round. It's it's full on in here. Fabric, fabric, fabric. It's going to keep it very, 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 very quick. One of the things about the sewing no, you look, you're fine. <laughs> one of the things that's great about a sewing social is you can help somebody out with a pattern. And throughout today I've been helping the lovely Sophie with her regalia blouse. Not that I like a regalia blouse. So we have we have gone through how to do the back here, because Sophie's never you never done one of these before, had you? No. So we've gone through how to do the back and the careful snipping. But look at this fabric. I mean how gorgeous is that? It's just beautiful. It's using a border on your print perfectly. And we are now going to do the burrito. So here goes. So you do one side and then the other. So when you're burritoing, you do one side and then the other side. Sophie has got herself completely set up here with her old vintage Benina. Well, look at this. She's got a window seat yep. with the difference. Ironing board, iron, work, box. Everything. Work laid out, all ready for the morning. Yep. How cool is that? I think it's brilliant. I think it's absolutely brilliant. The hardest thing of anything, weekend away, is packing the case up and saying goodbye to a comfortable bed. And when you've been sleeping in Andrea's sewing room, you feel even more privileged. So welcome to day two of the retreat. We can see some sewing things there and her lovely new machine is there and her overlocker, which is the same as mine. So we're heading off down to the retreat for the final day. It's been absolutely fantastic. I have got some fabric. This is what happened about an hour ago. There's no pictures of the two of us. I didn't take lots of pictures of the cutting of the fabric because I want to show you the fabric when I get home, which might actually be in another video because I want to get this one up first because this is the exciting one. So I'll see you down at the hall where there'll be even more hugging. See you. I got quite, I got quite, I got quite giddy when I came down here the other day. When I got into the village and I was like, oh, I'm nearly there, I'm nearly there. It can't be that far now. It can't be. We're going to pass the church in a minute. The church? Do we need to stop? Oh, will there be, will there, will there be the, will the statue of Our Lady in there? Do you yeah. have one in the village? Yeah. 
yeah, this one in here. Church. It's a 1970s church, so it's not your typical. It's open for mass. Very full. Be open at 11. Oh, I've got my thing the wrong way around, so I can't do the zooming. There we go. Oh, it's got a pump. Ah. Maloney's Post Office. Look at that. Is it closed down? Oh. Milk bought. Madam is here. Hello. We're just going over to see to Rachel what she's making. More bucket hats before you go home. More bucket hats this time. It's Peppa Pig and Lego. So almost done. Almost done. And that's charging to take some footage. Or you're relying on mine. <laughs> yes, I let my phone battery die. So yes. So everybody's really, really, really busy. So I am trying buttonholes on this little machine. Really steady. Now what I forgot to do yesterday, Lorian, was that I have to pivot to turn it round. Now put it down. This bit. Yeah. Back. And all being well, we have got... Yes! I've done it! Yes, 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 yes! Look, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it! I've done the buttonhole on the little machine. I am so proud of myself. I've only got four more to do, but I'm not going to film all of those. Look at the ladies, come on. New modelling, new blouses. Yeah, exactly. Come on, Andrea. <laughs> Woo! Modelling, new blouses. But sadly, people are packing up and going. It is very sad. We're just, I'm waving you off now. I'm waving you off. Come on, I saw you in and I'm going to watch you drive out. Bye, Take care. We're seeing her off. Bye. Which way are you going? Up the road. Up she goes. It would have helped if I recorded it. <laughs> Lorianne's still here. Jenny's still here. The ladies here are still here. And I can't remember their names. Tess, Tess is still here. And Caroline's here. But it's sad because everybody's got to go and drive. I've got a couple of hours and I've got to go too. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, yes! Yes, your shoes! They're great! Oh, well done, Jennifer. That's amazing. It's absolutely lovely. More went. It's just going down. Sophie's still here. Down the end. So you up tucking up the sleeves of the fringe dress. When you sew the sleeves back, you then top stitch. And I'm always uncertain that the top stitching doesn't catch. So I know that if I do my line of tucking in a different colour, I've sort of got a line to stitch along. Hello everybody, welcome to today's Beyond the Pink Door Live. Unfortunately, we have a little problem. Stocks have been depleted, haven't they? <laughs> I 
Today I have my able assistant Jan and we are going to pick out some of our favourite fabrics. Mm. Where do we start? We could have this one. We have a soft black viscose sand washed. What do we think to this? Do we like it? It's very difficult to see black. Isn't it is it? very difficult to see black. I don't know how Andrea does this, you know. Then she must then she has to put them all away again. I mean, you just have to keep pulling them off the shelves. I mean, there's a beautiful. Oh, look, there's a nice, colourful jersey down there. Oh, where about Zap, Zapping and. Oh, yes! Wow. Look at this. This is just a little one. How does Andrea pick all these fabrics up and do this every week? We've actually come back from dinner. We've left everybody else there because we're quite tired. And. I will tell you, we are putting the fabrics away as we get them out and have a look at them. Um, I've got my fabric that I want to buy tomorrow. I'll show you it. Look at this. I love it. It is a lovely viscose. It's an Atelier Jute viscose. It's blue, uh, multicoloured flowers. Let's start again. It's a lovely Atelier Jute viscose. It's got red and pink and pale pink flowers on it and I think it would make a most beautiful L jumpsuit by Atelier Jute and I'll pop the picture in there of it as well. But I will say to everybody, once you get put into a fabric shop like this, you have no idea where to start. I mean seriously, no idea where to start at all. I think I'm going to say goodnight for today and we'll see you all again tomorrow and I am just oh that's nice what's that one it's a jersey oh look at this we've got a rainbow jersey coming in look at this Jan Jan just think how would it be having to hold these up all the time oh it's lovely it's, it's that fabrics from your creativity oh that's really nice I like that one. What would you make with that? You would make a lovely Isla top. You could make a Charlie sweat a jumper out of it. You could make a Linton, sorry, Linton, I'm hitting Jan behind. She's just here holding it up. Um, make a Linden out of it. Um, a, you could make a toaster sweater out of it. I'm not very good at thinking on my feet, but we, I haven't done anything to drink, but we're just Molly feeling. Top. A Molly top. A Molly top. <sighs> got the liberties. I've got some lovely Lisa Taylor fabrics as well. There's so many lovely Lisa Taylor fabrics I wouldn't even know where to start. But I did pick up a Lisa Taylor pattern. What do we think of that one? That's beautiful. So what I'm going to do now before I go to bed is I might get out the fabrics that I want to buy tomorrow and uh, think about it. Apologies for the noise. But all things have to come to an end. So that's it. Beyond the Pink Dormitory over in 2023. That's the London Plain. I'm on the Ryanair Suites. There it goes. Bye bye, Dublin.